usual calm of country living was put on hold for a while on Saturday night. At Circle Drive Marina in DeSoto Parish, it was a non-stop party with music, revelers, and lots of fun. But the hip shaking was all for a good cause. Baby. The small community was making a little noise to raise money for Kayla Spano. A car accident in 2006 left Kayla paralyzed, unable to walk and barely able to sit up. Last year, she traveled to China to receive a cutting-edge stem cell treatment. It wasn't a miracle cure, but there were improvements. Since then, I can do a lot. I'm driving, uh, going to school, I live on my own, I have an apartment in Treeport, and um, I'm also working. Kayla now goes to college at LSUS and hopes to be a CPA one day. But her main goal is to walk again, so more treatments are in order. I'm trying not to expect that I'm going to be able to have full recovery from this treatment because, you know, I don't want to be let down, but I know I'm going to walk again someday. But the trips and treatment are expensive. To help her afford the next trip, this time to Costa Rica, a mini Woodstock was thrown. I got on the phone, I started calling the bands, the guys, um, you know, can you help me out with this? They were all more than happy. Reagan Crawford's band, Seven Hours to Southland, was just one of the five bands that entertained that night. I've known Kayla for a while and I've talked to her about about her situation and she's just so dependent on God and she's still God driven. And when the music was over, thousands of dollars were raised for Kayla, proving that great things can happen when people band together. This whole community has made a difference. In DeSoto Parish, Jeremy Jones, KTAL News.